go. We've got so many microphones up here, I don't even know where to go, but this is good. Uh, welcome to Cairn University. I'm Daniel Bennett, and it's great to be here tonight performing for all of you. Uh, this is such an honor and a privilege uh, to be teaching here. I want to first of all give a big shout out to uh, Dion, who's going to be leading the uh, gospel choir uh, a little bit later tonight. Yeah. And of course to Dr. Benjamin Harding. Uh, thank you, big hand clap for Ben Harding. So we have been preparing music from all genres and all different styles. This is going to be a really eclectic night. And these students have been crushing it every single week, late hours. Uh, and this is just so exciting to be here. And i got to tell you, this school is growing. And it's an exciting time to be making music here for all of you. And I recognize a lot of students out there. So thank you for, for coming out. Um, Please check the website, uh, and there's always concerts and events happening right here in the auditorium. There's student recitals that are open to the public. So please check the website and come back, bring friends, tell family members. Um, and uh, without further ado, I want to just lead us in a little prayer, and we're going to kick it off tonight. So, dear Heavenly Father, we thank you for this night. We thank you, Lord, for your blessing on this university, God. We thank you for your provisions. We thank you for these students, and we just thank you that your Holy Spirit is here tonight, and we worship you, Lord, uh, in all of your majesty tonight. In Jesus' name, amen. amen. Uh, I'm going to turn it over. Before I forget, I want to just give a quick hand clap to Dave, and that's Paul. Yeah. Daddy over here. Yeah. Yeah, that. The song is called Yardbird Sweet.
we're going to do a little change here. We are a well-oiled machine up here. Um, as they exit the stage. I've been working with Annie all semester uh, as one of my composition students here at Cairn. And we've been arranging songs and she has this really unique uh, vocal style. So this next piece is a song that she wrote and we sort of arranged together. We worked out the flute part. And uh, please give it up for Annie.
Good evening, everybody. So it is my pleasure to join the faculty as director of the Gospel Choir. And it's so good to be back in person because we spent a year on Zoom. So it is so good to be back. And I'm excited. So Daniel Bennett, can we give him a hand? Before I introduce the next song, the accompanist that just accompanied us is my brother and my friend, Eric Charles. So this next song that we're going to sing is entitled, King Jesus is a Listening When You Pray. Now, when we talk about soul sounded and the gospel choir, it's important to always consider the African American spiritual from which most American music derives from. And when we hear a spiritual such as King Jesus is listening, it is about simply understanding that what you're going through, your circumstance, your situation, your suffering is not the end of the story. So when we think about the enslaved African, they were not allowed certain privy, they were privy to certain parts of the Bible because of different manipulation that was going on. But the one thing that they understood was that King Jesus understands me. And King Jesus was whipped just like me. And the Lord delivered Daniel the way he's going to deliver us. And we had all of those different things that spirituals talk about that had messages. Sometimes there would be messages that had double meanings. How to get to up north, but also how to have hope in the middle of your situation. So, as we sing King Jesus is a listening when you pray, yes, it derives from that horrible time in history, but it is very applicable to what you are going through because the suffering, as the Bible says, of this present time is not worthy to be compared to the glory which Amen. shall be revealed in us Amen. through Christ Jesus. So they had a hope in glory just like we have as Christians because this suffering and all of the tensions of this world, all the wars and rumors of war that is promised because we live in the last days is not the end of the story. But it is simply a reason for us to have hope in our salvation in Jesus Christ. So understand that King Jesus is listening when you pray. If I hold 